so welcome back guys uh, this is mother pvl and today we are going to see about the software myths in elements of software construction so what is meant by a myth uh, myth means which is a wrong belief or which doesn't have any proper uh, proof we can just come to a conclusion like it is a wrong belief which will not have any a proper proof which we can just say like it's a wrong belief so now a software myth is nothing but the beliefs about the software and the process which are used to build it so this is basically about a software myth so software myth is nothing but the uh, beliefs uh, which were about the process which is used to build a proper software so myths have no attributes that cause a serious problems on a software so myths are nothing but uh, just like an warnings in this software we can just say like uh, before getting into this particular step they, they will just warn with the help of this myth like uh, don't uh, go into this this may cause some serious problem on your software so basically there are three types of myths there are management myth and then customer myth and then developer or party uh, partitioner myth so these are the three types of myths so now uh, in this video i am going to discuss about all this whole three types of myths so this is whole about this myths and software myth so first one is the customer myth so customer myth is nothing but the false beliefs which were believed by a customer or a client so software myths which is believed by a customer who can be internal or external uh internal or external in the sense a person who directly buys from that uh factory we can just say like uh internal is a person who is a member of that uh fat uh, who is belonging uh, to a member of that factory who buys a large lump sum of a product and then external is nothing but a person who buys as uh, buys it as a retail retail is nothing but uh like just in a normal shops like us normal people is an external uh, customer whereas internal customer is a person who brings the large number of goods into his uh, go down so he is an internal customer so customers believe that general statement of a code are enough to begin a program so if we just come to this programming world so customers believe that general statements of a code so general knowledge about coding is enough to begin a program so this is a statement uh, or we can just say like this is a state of a mind of a normal uh, customer so basic general statements of a code are enough to begin a program changing requirements is easy uh, with a software is flexible between a software is flexible so changing requirements is very easy uh, according to the view of a customer but it's not too much easy so changing of requirements is a bit tough so but according to the customer it's very easy uh, uh, for a software flexibility whereas customer always think that software development is an easy process so uh, software development uh, is an easy process this is a thought process of a customer so these are the three statements which we can just get in the form of a customer so these are the three customer myths which doesn't have any proper proof with a customer but he will just speak like this so this doesn't have any change we can't just make anything right so this is about customer myth so whereas if we just get into this management myth so management uh, myth is nothing but the people who will just manage things so manage things is nothing but who will just work with a group of people who will just assign some works so let us just see standard tools are enough sufficient for a developers to develop a program so they think they think like uh, standard tools are enough sufficient for a developer to develop a program uh, uh, developer may need some special tools so it doesn't come in a mind of a management person so he just thinks like uh, standard tools are enough for a uh, uh, to develop a program we can add more programs to catch up so he doesn't bother about a developer he just thinks for his own uh, own uh, profit so he would like to just add more programs to just catch up as a uh, whole management things and they also think like uh, they have latest hardware they always think like they have latest hardware but management doesn't provide that much latest hardware uh, they will just provide a uh, minimal 
but some companies may provide a latest hardware but this can be considered as a one of a management myth a good manager can manage any project this is a uh, one of the most myth uh, which we can just hear from any management person so a good manager can manage any project it depends upon the team so if team is a bit well then a normal manager can also manage that project but if a team is a bit tough then good manager can also feel a bit tough to manage that project so these are some management myths and then finally while coming to this developer myths if i miss something now i can fix later so developer is a person who is a bit lazy according to this situation so he says like uh, if i just miss something now like if i am unable to do this now so i can just fix it later this is a bit negligence he will just postpone his work once the program is written and running then my job is done so developer is a person who will just obey the words of a person who give him that uh, what we say like uh, the person who gives him a logic so a person who gives him an algorithm so developer will bind blindly type a code for that algorithm so if a once program is written and running then my job is done so this is a statement of a developer so it doesn't think anything new from that algorithm he will just type the code blindly until a program is running there is no way of assessing his, its quality so he can't just judge, judge the quality of a code until the program gets uh, compiled successfully so the only deliverable for a software project is a working program so he can just deliver a software project which is working only he can't just deliver the things which are not working right so these are some of the generalized statements which were called as a myths for a three different types of people in a software company so here we can just come to a conclusion so we can just write this all statements i had just made a bit simple i think so so i think you may have you might have got some clarity from this video so thanks for watching works of the college guys please subscribe to my channel thank you